Welcome home. Hi, I'm North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory. On behalf of the people of North Carolina, it's an honor to welcome back the 82nd Combat Aviation Brigade from your combat missions in Afghanistan. Throughout our nation's history, America has depended on the brave individuals who voluntarily stand between us and those who want to do us harm. You have now finished the latest chapter of that noble tradition with your return from Afghanistan. And because of your courage and sacrifice, the Afghan people have the opportunity to build a stronger and more secure future. While back home, we're all safer from the kinds of attacks our country suffered on September 11, 2001. On behalf of the 10 million people who call North Carolina home, I pledge to you that we will never forget what you have sacrificed for us. First Lady Ann McCrory and I would like to also give a special thanks to the families and friends who became your partners in sacrifice during your many months of separation. Thank you for your noble service. God bless you. And through you, may you continue to bless the great state of North Carolina and our great country. We begin tonight with Fort Bragg families saying goodbye to their soldiers going to war. More than three dozen paratroopers leaving for Afghanistan. Nicole Carr on post tonight. As we witnessed these final goodbyes, we also heard from a commander who meant no words when he said we are still very much at war. They will be absolutely ruthless on the enemy. The mission is simple. Uh, I'm trying to save an American soldier who's in trouble, a coalition soldier who's in trouble. Let's keep the journey to it. Not so much. I'm kind of nervous. Why is that? Because I don't know what's going to happen. Whether you're an old pro, several deployments in with mustard seed faith. He's going to take it in his hands and we just pray. A seven-week-old novice or a little one who just understands mommy's touch makes everything all right. They have a little necklace with a locket that has kisses from mommy in it. So whenever they need some, they can open it up. Saying goodbye just isn't easy. The last couple of deployments, they didn't know what was going on. So now it's definitely a lot harder. But focus is necessary. These 50 paratroopers from the 82nd Combat Aviation Brigade will join more than a thousand of their counterparts who have already deployed to Afghanistan this year. With them, there are the brigade colors, meaning they are officially taking over aviation responsibility there in the face of a drawdown. We're not going there to. Uh, destroy anything. We're going there to train the uh, Afghan nationals so that they can protect their own country. Um, and so that's basically, you know, our main focus right now. And with everything that's happening in the news, it is a little scary. Um, but my job is not to question the policy, but to enforce it. It's a job their families play a critical role in, holding down the home front until they meet again. These soldiers are expected to be back with their families in nine months. From Fort Bragg, Nicole Carr, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.
Welcome home to the 82nd Combat Aviation Brigade. Wow, what an amazing job you do. You're called upon in a moment's notice and you respond and you respond at the highest level and you've done it over and over and over again. Thank you so very much for your great service to this amazing country. And I wanna thank your families for the support that they give you. All of you have worked as a team to protect our USA team. Uh, welcome home. Uh, I hope it's an unbelievable homecoming and just know that our nation puts their arms around you to thank you. Thank you so very, very much. Hello, 82nd Combat and Aviation Brigade. Welcome home. Big Willie here saying thumbs up from the Robertson Gang. Love you guys.
Hey there, I'm Steve Spurrier, South Carolina football coach. I realize there's around 2,500 of you that will be returning to the states, and uh, we're hoping and praying you'll have a smooth adjustment uh, to life here as you join up with your families back here. But again, we thank you and uh, appreciate everything you've done for our country. This is Joe Girardi, manager of the New York Yankees, and I would like to take a moment and thank you for your service to our country. It is truly an honor to welcome each and every one of you back from your recent mission in Afghanistan. I would also like to give a special thanks to the families and friends who became your partners in sacrifice over those many months of separation. Again, thank you for your noble service and welcome home 82nd Combat Aviation Brigade.
Hi, I'm head coach Ron Rivera, and on behalf of the Carolina Panthers organization, I would like to thank you for your service. The Carolina Panthers will never forget everything you have sacrificed for us. It is our honor to welcome each and every one of you back from your recent mission in Afghanistan. I would also like to give a special thanks to the families and friends who became your partners in sacrifice over these many months of separation. Once again, thank you for your noble service and welcome home. Schaefer. You know, on behalf of all of us here at The Late Show with David Letterman, we'd just like to say thank you to all our armed forces personnel all over the world who so courageously serve our country. We We are so grateful to the brave men and women who have given and sacrificed so much for all of us. And it is truly our honor to welcome back the 82nd Combat Aviation Brigade from your recent combat mission in Afghanistan. A job well done. Welcome home, everybody. Welcome home. Thank you very much. Take me down to the river bend. Take me down to the fighting end. Wash the poison from off my skin. Show me how to be whole again. Fly me up on a silver wave. Past the black where the sirens sing. Warm me up in a Nova's glow. Drop me down to the dream below Cause I'm only a crack In this castle of glass This is head coach Mark Rick from the University of Georgia. Bulldogs, I would like to take this time and thank each trooper in the 82nd Combat Aviation Brigade for your selfless service and dedication to our country. It's truly my honor to welcome back the 82nd Combat Aviation Brigade from your recent combat mission in Afghanistan during Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Resolute Support. Job well done, Airborne. And show me how to be
soldiers at Fort Bragg. Members of the 82nd Airborne home tonight and back with their families. We were there for the happy reunions. <laughs> As with any military homecoming, you have all the usual pomp and circumstance, but it only lasts so long. This, this is the moment these families and folks in uniform have been waiting nine long months for. I'm tired, but I'm so happy to be back, finally. Are you excited to have Daddy home? Yeah. I was just excited to see my little girl and how big she got. I sleep in my own bed. Oh, nice. Everyone here will tell you you're never too early to come back home. I'm just trying to be a father, raise a daughter and a son, be a lover to their mother, everything to everyone, up and that I'm bright and early, I'm all business in my suit, yeah I'm dressed up for success, from my head down to my boots, I don't do it for the money, there's bills that I can't pay. I don't do it for the glory, I just do it anyway. Providing for our futures, my responsibility. Yeah, I'm real good on the pressure, being all that I can be. I can't call in sick on Mondays when the weekend's been too strong. I just work straight through the holidays, sometimes all night long. You can bet that I stand ready When the wolf growls at the door Hey, I'm solid, hey, I'm steady Hey, I'm true down to the core And I will always do my duty No matter what the price I've counted up the cost I will proudly take a stand When liberty's in jeopardy I will always do what's right I'm out here on the front lines Sleep in peace tonight American soldier Hello, I'm Gary Sinise. Every generation of Americans has seen selfless individuals who answer our nation's call to serve, stepping forward to defend our nation at home and abroad. I'm proud to welcome home the 82nd Combat Aviation Brigade, Task Force Pale Horse of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. This is the latest group of veterans to return from Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Resolute Support in Afghanistan. Thank you for what you've done to enable a better future for the Afghan people and ensure that we never again encounter another 9-11. I'd also like to thank and say that I am especially impressed by our military families who sacrifice so much demonstrating an amazing example of love and support to our soldiers. Thank you all so much for all you have done. Airborne.